Hi, in this video, uh, we will continue working on events and more specifically, we're going to see a different event, the on-click event. So the use case here is uh, when a button is clicked, then we will change its uh, text and color of text. And here's a URL for uh, more information on the on-click event. Now, in the previous uh, video, we explained the process of form handling conceptually and technically and uh, explain uh, in more detail what events are. Now we're gonna go straight uh, to our editor. And this is uh, where we were in the previous exercise where we covered the onload event. Now, essentially what we said, we I'm going to first uh, make a, a button and for that we need to use the input tag and specify the attribute type to a button. Now if I would save this file and uh, check my browser, well, you can see that here is my button and right, here is my button. If I click it, nothing happens. And as you can see, the onload uh, message has also disappeared, although the code, uh, the function, the JavaScript function is right here. Since I removed the onload event, or technically speaking, the attribute of the body tag, uh, I'm not going to see this uh, message. Now, in order to make it uh, somewhat uh, more user friendly, I'm going to add the attribute value. And I'm going to specify it as test. So if I save the file and refresh the page, now you can see that the button has the text test. And you do that by using the value attributes. Now, as you can see, if I click on it, nothing happens. Uh, as I've also uh, specified in my previous uh, series, I'm also going to use the ID attribute and then put the value test button. Now, as we mentioned, we want to do something something when the user clicks the button. So therefore we need to use the on click event. And just to link it to the previous exercise, as you can see, well, if I specify nothing, so I'm going to specify nothing right here and I'm going to refresh the page. And obviously, if I click on it, nothing happens. Now, see what happens if I would uh, take this uh, name of the function and put it in the on click uh, attribute. So as you can see here, I specify that when the user uh, clicks the button, then uh, do uh, execute the commands which are encapsulated, which are included in this function. So what I expect to happen is that when a user clicks the event, then this function is executed and this function essentially has this alert message. So I'm going to save the page refresh. And as you can see now, if I click the uh, button, I get this message. Now, that's uh, not what I wanted. As uh, you remember, I wanted to change uh, the text's um, let us review what we wanted to do. So we wanted to change its text and the color of the text. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to, uh, this line 8, I'm going to uh, uh, have it uh, uh, as a comment. And then I'm also going to change the name of the function uh, to have something more descriptive. So do on click. I also need, obviously, to specify the same name. So this name right here and this name right here of the function needs, obviously, to match. Now, in order to change the text of the button, we need to use the document object. And since we specified the ID, we need to use the method get element by ID and then specify the same ID 
of the tag that we want uh, to change. So we use the document object to get element by ID method and we specify as value the ID of the button. Now the next one is to choose the value property and then change the text to OK tested. So once uh, somebody or once the user clicks the button, the text in other words, the value attribute of the tag is going to change from test to OK tested. So let's see whether this works. I'm going to save the web page, move back to the browser, refresh the browser. Now what I expect to happen is when I click the button, I'm not going to see any message anymore since uh, that is commented right here. It's a comment. And what I expect is the value of the button, in other words, the text of the button to change from test to OK tested. So let's see if that, happen if that happens. And indeed, when I click on it, the text changed from test to OK tested. Now we can do something uh, more as well. So we can also uh, change the color of the text. And again, in order to access this specific tag, we need to use the document object, a get element by ID, and then specify the style and color, say into red. So we're going to change the text uh, color from black to red. So I'm going to refresh the page, and as you can see now, it changes back to its original value, which is test. So what I expect to happen is when I click on it, the on-click event is triggered. Therefore, this function is initialized, and this function essentially will change the text of the button to OK tested, and it's going to change the color of the text into red. Let's see if that happens. And as you can see, as soon as I click on the button, I get the text changed and its color changed. So with this video, we demonstrated the on-click event and some more things, some more dynamic properties of JavaScript. So essentially, you know, you can start choosing the attributes of a certain tag. Now, uh, for uh, the assignment for this video, I would like you to do the following. When a button is clicked, check if its text is test, and then change its text into OK tested. This is more or less what we did. But the extension is if its text is something else, then change its text into OK tested twice. And also, change the button's background color to black and its text into white color. So this is the assignment that we're going to solve in the next video. So essentially, the next video, by solving the assignment, which was uh, just mentioned, we're going to look at the conditional statement in JavaScript, in other words, the if-else statement. It's also going to provide us the solution to the previous assignment. But all of that, till the next video.